let's talk about nonlinear loads in Article 100. So a nonlinear load is a load where the current waveform is different than the voltage waveform. All right, so let's start with the voltage waveform, which is shown in blue. This is a nice, normal, predictable uh, 60 hertz sine wave where we've got one cycle, right? So going from zero crossing to peak, to zero crossing to negative peak, back to the zero crossing is one cycle. It does 60 of those in one second here in the US. If we look at the purple waveform, however, we can see that it's obviously different than the voltage waveform. So that means it's a non-linear load. So if we were to count how many cycles this uh, neutral has compared to the voltage waveform, we can see that it starts at a zero crossing, peak, zero crossing, negative peak, zero crossing, and it does that one, two, three times for every one of our voltage waveforms. So this is 180 hertz, and what we would call that is a third order harmonic current. All right, so harmonic currents are a result of nonlinear loads. Nonlinear loads is just a load that creates a, a strange looking current waveform. All right, so this is a third order harmonic because it's three times what we would call the fundamental sine wave if the fundamental is 60 hertz and we have 180 hertz, that's three times the fundamental, so that's a third order harmonic. We can have third order harmonics and fifth order harmonics, all sorts of different harmonic loads. Now, why would I need to know what a nonlinear load is? Well, if you go to section 310.15e as in echo, it tells us when we have to count the neutral conductor as a current carrying conductor. Now, I did a whole video series on neutral conductors and showing when you need to count them as a current carrying conductor. And really, uh, you don't have to count them nearly as often as people think. But if your load is more than 50% nonlinear on a given circuit, then you have to count that neutral conductor as a current carrying conductor if we have a three phase, four wire, Y connected system. And again, that's in section 310.15e. Now, for those of us that are not engineers, we have an informational note that makes this a whole lot easier. It says, listen, here's what nonlinear loads are. Stuff like electronic equipment, discharge lighting, adjustable speed drive, similar things might be nonlinear loads. So pretty much everything in an office environment is going to be a nonlinear load. Things with switching uh, power supplies, things like printers, things like uh, you know data processing equipment, computers, the lights for the office environment are going to be nonlinear loads. So there you go. That is the Article 100 definition of nonlinear load and the informational note that goes along with it. But again, where do you really need to know this? You need to know it in 310.15e when we're figuring out whether or not we need to count the neutral conductor as a current carrying conductor for the purposes of ampacity adjustment. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.